Hi doctors, I love my boyfriend, but he really has a beer belly. It's just so big and flabby, it hangs over his jeans. No matter what he tries, eating right, working out, he cannot get rid of it. Does drinking beer really cause a beer belly? Does beer truly give you a beer belly? And the answer is no. They've found that drinking beer alone does not cause the so-called beer belly. You've all seen it, that sort of Santa Claus look hanging out. So what exactly is a beer belly? What it is, it's fat that accumulates inside the abdominal cavity. You've talked about it on the show many times. We call it visceral fat, intra-abdominal fat. We call it enlarged fat of the omentum. Well, what causes it? Well, beer, if you drank enough, but on top of that, it's what you're eating when, when you're drinking that beer. And we know that, that this, this intra-abdominal fat has a lot of negative impact on your health. What does it do? Well, all that extra fat releasing cholesterol, it's affecting insulin levels, it's putting pressure on your inner organs, it's releasing cholesterol into the bloodstream. We know what that does, it clogs your arteries, leads to heart attacks. So, you want to do everything you can to prevent that beer belly, right? Yep, and you hit on such a great point. When we call it a beer belly, it's because the beer belly lifestyle is what leads to abdominal fat. And what's interesting, if you can pinch the fat around your belly, that's the fat underneath the skin. Beer belly, aka visceral fat, you can't pinch that. That's deep in, it's toxic goop surrounding your organs. So how do you get rid of that? Well, it's making better decisions while you're having a beer. It's making healthier choices, much like we talked about in the last segment. Baked wings, not fried wings. Whole wheat pizza with veggies on it rather than regular old refined flour. I think what you're saying, pick the choices that you, when you're drinking your beer, it's what you eat with the beer, make the right choices.